Welcome to your weekly general aviation news update. This week we have three stories for you. A 737 MAX 9 loses a plug door in flight. I'm sure you've heard that one. Uh, NASA to release the X-59. And then also we have a new Cirrus, or is it? Let's get to it. And first up this week is an Alaskan airline flight, a 737 MAX that lost a plug door while climbing out of Portland, Oregon. Uh, the door was blown off in an explosive decompression that left a hole in the airplane not good, and also uh, apparently tore the shirt off of a teenager that was sitting nearby uh, with, the, uh, with his mom. The decompression happened at uh, nearly 16,000 feet. Uh, no one was occupying the seat directly next to where the decompression happened, where the door was lost. So thankfully, injuries were only limited to a bunch of scratches. And I'm sure a lot of people were scared to fly for the rest of their life. The airplane landed without any issues back in Portland with an uh, investigation that started, started promptly after. Uh, the FAA has issued an emergency airworthiness directive to all carriers that operate the 737 MAX 9 and they require inspection of that door plug. Now, you might be wondering what that door plug is. Well, uh, it exists because some of the carriers use more seats in that aircraft, and therefore they require an additional emergency exit. Now, in this case, Alaska Airline and also United uh, have fewer seats in the aircraft, so they actually plug that door permanently, or I guess permanent should be in quotation mark in, in this case. Uh, it's unclear how the plug actually failed and became loose enough to be blown off, but the, uh, the, apparently they found loose screws and bolts uh, on the other 737 MAX 9 in the United Fleet and also later on reported in the uh, Alaska Fleet as well. So. That was the result of the uh, airworthiness inspection. So yeah, that's, uh, I guess, the reason why you wear your seatbelt when you fly, which I do every single time. And now there is one more reason. And it almost sounds like Trevor Jacobs was actually onto something. <laughs> Shut the front door. And next up this week is NASA, who has announced that they will unveil the X-59 supersonic demonstrator. Uh, NASA is doing this in partnership with Lockheed Martin and Skunk Works. Uh, they have been developing the X-59 since 2018. Uh, Skunk Works was at the time selected for uh, the design to build and fly the demonstrator. Uh, the goal of the X-59 is to prove that quiet supersonic flights can actually be achieved, which is really cool, I think. Uh, geeky, but uh, I'm, a, I'm a big geek, so I think this would be amazing to have a uh, supersonic flight again commercially. Uh, the X-59 is going to be cruising at 55,000 feet, Mach 1.4, and only produce 75 decibel, which I'm guessing is on the ground, that would be my guess. But uh, the aircraft will fly over selected US cities later this year as part of NASA's research to hopefully bring back that supersonic air travel uh, soon. So. Uh, Pretty exciting. I'll keep you posted if we hear more on this. And third up this week is a new Cirrus SR series called the G7. Now, don't be fooled. It, the G7 stands for Gen 7. It's really applying to the SR 2022 and 22T. Uh, Cirrus uh, submitted something earlier this, this week, kind of showing uh, a, a new, possibly a new aircraft design. It's not. It's it's. Don't get me wrong, it's cool, but it's just the inside of the aircraft being redone with uh, updates that include like a 12-inch or 14-inch touchscreen, touchscreen display, uh, very similar to those in the Vision Jet. Uh, it's actually a big step for them to kind of standardize the co their cockpit to make it easier to switch to a Vision Jet. Uh, there is engine start with a push button that would be very much like uh, what you see in a Vision Jet or in a car, quite frankly. Uh, they also added improved flight controls. They have a stick shaker on the left and the right control. They have an automatic fuel selector that switches the fuel tank every five gallons, which is really cool. I wish we had that in our airplane. Uh, flight protection to protect the pilot from uh, deploying the or retracting the flaps by accident. They have uh, interior addition, including the 12 and the 14 inch display. Like I said, those are Garmin displays. Uh, they have dimmable task lights, accent lighting, uh, two center console compartments, uh, power headset jacks, which I'm actually not sure what that does. Maybe some of you know. Uh, and then a USB-C charger. Uh, it's pretty cool to see Cirrus coming up with these new updates. And um, yeah, the, uh, the, the 2024 SR model aircraft. Let us know if this is something that you uh, might be interested in. All right, that's it. That's all we have. We will see you next week for more news. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>